Hi, my name is Anna and today I will give you a brief overview about the Empower Customizing settings. You can find the Empower Customizing settings in the top ribbon on the right hand side of the Empower menu. You will only have that button if you are a CD admin. And please keep in mind that if you make any changes to that button, it will automatically be synced to all users. A design. A design can be assigned to one or more masters. It always consists of colors, fonts, font sizes, agenda layouts, and if needed, a special corporate design template folder. You can create a new design by using the plus button below, <clears throat> or when saving the master in the Empower library, create a new design. <clears throat> the creation of a design is helpful if you have multiple brands with different color schemes or a master with different dimensions. Colors. Here you find all colors which are allowed to be used and are assigned to the current design. For each color you have the RGB value, on the right side the allowed usage of color. To add a color simply click on the button, insert the RGB values and define the allowed usage. Further, you can add a heading or an empty placeholder to structure your colors. You can of course delete colors or move the colors to a different spot. In the section below, you see how the colors are presented in the color picker of Empower. Fonts and font sizes. In this section, you can define the font and the font sizes that, I, that the user can choose in the Empower ribbon. In order to make another font available and improve by the design check, you can select a font and add it to the list. If you wish to add font sizes, you can type the number in the open field. Again, this can be defined specifically for each design. If you allow every font and font size, you can simply switch off the toggle above. Corporate design check. The corporate design check runs through your presentation and checks it against the settings in Empower. For example, colors, fonts, font sizes, etc. The first setting allows you to decide if a presentation can be uploaded without passing the design check. The next to determine when a design check should run, on save or on open. In the lower section, you are able to define the settings which are reviewed by the design check. If you do not want a section to be checked, simply switch off the des designated toggle. This setting can be defined for each design separately. Upload and updates. In this section, you determine the update settings under what circumstances you will create an update, how and to whom the update will be pushed. I will not further go into this setting since there will be a dedicated Empower Best Practice in two weeks by Stefan. Versioning. By help of the versioning, you have the option to always go back to an older version of your slide and presentation. Make an old version your current. You can do that by help of the versioning. You can define how many versions should be saved by putting in a number in this section. Please keep in mind that this setting is only working properly if a slide is saved after a major change. Multilingualism. Multilingualism allows you to switch between different language versions of the same slide or presentation. This setting enables you to define the languages which will be available to the user. If a user changes a slide, if a user changes a slide, which is part of the language union, Empower reminds you to change the corresponding slide as well. Startup and master. You can define basic settings for the start of Empower and the master. 
For example, you can decide whether a user is forced to choose a master from Empower or restrict users to save it in their own user library. Additionally, you determine how Empower should load. You can decide between two states, start in the offline mode, restore offline and online mode. Last, you can define if the company library should be available offline to all users. Features. You can decide which feature should be available for the user in this section. To activate or deactivate a setting, you search in the list, mark the feature and activate or deactivate it. The placeholder settings determine what happens if a user clicks on a placeholder on a slide. Empower means the Empower library opens. Built-in is a native PowerPoint function and deactivate will result in no action at all. Spell checking. You define the language for the spell check by choosing the desired language and adding it to your language section. In the Empower ribbon, you can find the spell check under the language button. Branding. Check changing the name of the Empower ribbon and the highlight color can be done in this section. CD admins. CD admins can be assigned by searching in the Active Directory. The only, this only allows the selected user to change the Empower settings, but does not give admin permissions to the library. So if we now give someone rights for the Empower CD admin button, that user will in the future see the button next to the help button in the Empower ribbon. Thank you for participating in today's webcast. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via empower at maidenoffers.com.